the UC Riverside volleyball team returned to the Student Recreation Center over the weekend, hosting the front end of a four-match homestand with a 3-0 loss to Cal State Northridge on Saturday and a 3-1 defeat by San Diego State on Sunday. Amanda Villapondo and Chubby LaDuff accounted for 15 of the Highlanders' 31 kills against the Matadors on Saturday. The first set was a back-and-forth battle as the teams tied the score in each of the last 10 points, providing some exciting action for a record crowd of 745 fans. In set one, the Highlanders led at set point 25-24, but a service error tied it up at 25. Cal State Northridge then used consecutive kills to close out with a 27-25 win. With the Matadors leading 16-14 midway through the second set, the Highlanders committed five attack errors as CSUN rallied off seven straight points to go up 23-14 en route to a 25-16 victory. Down by three points midway in the third set, the Highlanders went on a 5-1 run to take an 18-17 lead. CSUN then scored four straight to go up by three as they went on for a 25-20 victory to complete the sweep. On Sunday against San Diego State, Villapondo reported game highs with 19 kills and a career-high 20 digs for the Highlanders. The first two sets were very tight as the Aztecs won the first 28-26. UCR rallied back for a second set win, 27-25, to tie the match at 1, but SDSU put the match away with 25-18 and 25-16 victories in the third and fourth sets, respectively. San Diego State led 21-17 late in set one, but the Highlanders scored five straight points off two Aztec errors and kills by Villapondo, Leduff, and Monique Holt to take their first seed of the set at 22-21. The teams traded points until 26-26, when consecutive kills by the Aztecs lifted them to a 28-26 win. After a UCR timeout, and with San Diego State leading 24-23 at set point in the second set, kills by Bianca Endersby and Megan Riza gave the Highlanders a 25-24 lead. Paige Pearson's kill on the next play tied the set at 25, but consecutive kills by Villapondo closed at the set 27-25 and tied the match at 1 for the Highlanders. SDSU led wire to wire in the third set and pulled away late as they went on to win 25-18, taking a 2-1 lead in the match. After falling behind early in the fourth set, the Highlanders closed within two at 15-13. However, San Diego State went on a 9-2 run, including scoring five straight, to take a 24-15 set point advantage as they concluded the match with a 25-16 win. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're close in a lot of ways but we lack a little bit of composure. We lack a little bit of experience, and maybe with the experience comes composure and confidence and conviction. So right now, we don't, uh, we don't have enough confidence uh, when the matches get close and when we're battling. Uh, you know, I thought the weekend before we showed some composure, but uh, we didn't show composure this, this weekend. The Highlanders continue their four-match homestand with two Big West Conference matches against Cal State Fullerton and Long Beach State on September 30th and October 1st, respectively, at the Student Recreation Center in Riverside.